Welcome to this month's edition of Closing the Gap, the monthly newsletter from College Success Arizona. And now our top story, investing in need-based state grant aid to increase education attainment in Arizona. College Success Arizona CEO Rich Nickel talks about that subject extensively in an article published in this month's print edition of Closing the Gap. It's also posted on the College Success Arizona website. Rich discusses possible solutions to increasing Arizona's college attainment and says policymakers can increase statewide access and attainment rates by developing robust and sustainable need-based grant aid programs. College Success Arizona continues its Graduate Spotlight Series, featuring young people like 23-year-old Trey Begay, who is attending medical school in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and closing in on his goal of becoming a doctor and returning to serve the Navajo Nation where he grew up. Trey says his plan is to go back to the Navajo Reservation and work for Indian Health Services, which is the health care he grew up with and still uses today. Trey earned a Bachelor of Science degree from Arizona State University prior to enrolling at the School of Medicine and Health Sciences at the University of North Dakota. He says that all the rumors and stories about med school being hard are true. It's, everything's like applied, everything's clinically relevant now, so it's not just reciting you know, our textbook, it's actually applying it to a patient case, uh, applying it to uh, different you know, diagnoses and what we'll see in the clinic. So adjusting to that type of, you know, learning and that type of thinking. That took some time, and I, I think I've got it down by now, just reaching out to professors, talking with um, second-year medical students. Meanwhile, some of the coldest temperatures in the lower 48 are recorded near Grand Forks. Trey says there was definitely a climatic transition. Oh, yeah. I mean, even just, just traveling, um, having to buy a, a nice winter coat that would at least last me, you know, the next four years I'll be here for school, just that extra expense, and even, you know, just driving, um, having to worry about transportation, even though Grand Forks is a small town, even, you know, when it snows and sometimes they don't plow the, the roads in time, and we still got to be at work, we still have to be at lectures in the morning. So just trying to be able to, you know, drive through that weather, um, get winter tires, um, you know, get the car ready for winter, just simple things like that. Had to, had to transition with that type of, um, you know, from that type of weather to prepare for it. Trey is among the hundreds of students who have earned a scholarship from College Success Arizona, which provides up to $6,000 per year for educational expenses. The students also receive specialized mentoring services from a team of highly skilled success advisors. In this month's print edition of Closing the Gap, you don't want to miss the Meet Our Team segment featuring Nicole Santacero. Nicole is the office assistant at College Success Arizona, and she has an MBA, speaks Spanish, and grew up just outside of Hartford, Connecticut. In this month's print edition of Closing the Gap, you can learn more about the Arizona College Access Network's featured member, College Connect Tempe. Established in 2012, College Connect Tempe is a community partnership of local school districts, Maricopa Community Colleges, Arizona Public Universities, and other local educational institutions. And finally, College Success Arizona is currently recruiting for a full-time success advisor to work with our great scholars. Success advisors work closely with the scholars that participate in the College Success Arizona Scholarship and mentoring programs assisting with their overall success and retention. This is Troy Wild thanking you for listening to this edition of Closing the Gap.